99.2 FM. This is Radio Ara. This is Radio Ara. Home of African music. I am a singer. I am a dancer. I am music. Never in my pride. This is Radio Ara. This is Radio Ara. Home of African music. gentlemen here we are here we are it's sunday again we are starting like always at 4 30 and in studio we have my special vip here <laughs> and he's heidi mr canada richard and welcome uh, to the show welcome to, yeah, the show. welcome to the show this is aggie's live talk show based in stuttgart germany we are on radio rfm the home of african music the best of the best of the best of the best actually you look far and wide you'll not find anybody or any other radio stronger than ours so you're welcome guys let's get together and talk about this monster called old age poverty among the diasporas actually you're not as the people who are making lots of money supporting our countries building our countries mansions and i don't know what and then we are told that we are endangered species eh, to face <laughs> does our old age poverty i mm-hmm. don't know let's talk about this because this is a, a tough topic let's get started but 
just before you get ready and we get ready let's take a shot break. FM. This is Radio Ara. This is Radio Ara, home of African music. Yeah, it's the home of African music. This is Agis Live Talk Show on Radio RFM, based in Stuttgart, Germany. We're doing live streaming on Facebook. We are on different channels right now. You can listen to us even on YouTube. And you can get to talk with us. You can get to mix up. We're going to have a special guest today talking with us on this topic. And uh, I have also my share to say. And I'm sure my VIP here also has something to say. And I think you also have a point to tell us and if you want to call us in studio you can call us on plus 49 and 73 and you can tell us what you would like us to know about this topic it's something that is really scary i mean imagine working all your life and at the end you are an, an endangered species you are almost one for sure some people say it is almost sure because of how you live now it can make sure that you are living in poverty at your old age especially if you're living in diaspora so guys we're gonna talk about this today and we have a special guest waiting to be part of this and we are going to let that person our guest explain to us why is it so important to take care now and not later about avoiding poverty in old age canada can can you imagine being mm. old in old age being, uh, being poor being I mean, poor being in old, old age, age. Yeah. it has always happened it has uh, always happened it's happening actually it's happening and uh, it has not stopped to happen so mm -hmm. i am very sure mm -hmm. um think someone think someone Things are gone. Huh? Things, they are gone. All, uh, things are gone. Explain. Yeah, as they always say from ah, Jamaica. Okay. Uh, the things, <laughs> things are things gone. Are gone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, things happen. Things, things happen. happen. Yes, things happen. Yes. And poverty yeah. is actually not a, a friend uh, tema. I mean, uh -huh. it's something. It's very. It's very common. Common. Uh -huh. uh, German would say it's, it's, it's Alltag. Uh -huh. uh, it's Alltag. It's what we are living with. It's happening every uh -huh. day, day in, day out. You uh -huh. go out on the street right now, you'll find. Uh, people who are poor, people mm -hmm. living under the bridges, someone living on the streets. I mean, even here in diaspora. A lot, a lot. A you lot, know, people lot. think even you're even, money. Even most of them, they hey. go to the streets uh, yeah. willingly. They go, uh, so, yeah, because uh -huh. of what? Uh, I mean, why would I want to live on the street? They willingly? miss that ghetto life. You know? <laughs> <laughs> ah, I uh, can show them where to live. They live that. They, ghetto. they I, miss. I can take them to Kibera. Yeah, that's if what they, they miss. Want that's life. what they miss. Yeah, know? I can take. Them. I mean, if they pay their ticket. Let me let me tell you, the best person them. who is enjoying life is mm -hmm. the person who comes from a ghetto and then goes to uh, a person that is well developed. Ah. That person is enjoying life enjoying because life. he has a Not journey. The other way no, 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 no. Uh -huh. He has a journey, mm -hmm. or she has a journey from mm -hmm. the ghetto to that place where she, and she will never miss the ghetto. Mm -hmm. She will always be in the ghetto, around the, the people in the ghetto. But that's why you see most of the people homeless mm -hmm. here. They're yeah. not homeless. Most of them are. They don't living. have to. Are you saying uh -huh. they don't have to be homeless? They don't have to in a country like this they oh, don't have to be like homeless this. okay this is the the relation uh -huh. okay in a country like this you don't have you to, don't have to but it but can happen it can happen it can happen yes. and this is why we have to talk about this yeah i mean some of them despite our talk mm -hmm. we will not change their life we will not change we their will life not even affect and them. Uh, well, in that case uh -huh. when uh, as you mentioned it earlier yeah at the old age at the old age uh, this is i think the worst huh? it's the worst because even my father told me i don't know how this one can be explained in another language mm -hmm. Uh, that uh, when a tree is growing mm -hmm. and uh, it is somehow bend bending, mm -hmm. uh, you can try to rectify it when it's young, when it's growing from young. You can just try to you position try to it so that it goes straight the way you yes, want. Yes. But when this tree has all grown, is up there, you cannot bend it. You in, cannot anyway. bend it. Yes. So, and this uh, that's a very good analogy uh -huh. so this that's why uh -huh. if uh, uh the, the poor if you the uh, the poverty at yeah. old age yeah. is very difficult to it's difficult to yes, change to change but and that's is tragic mm. is that not tragic it yeah. is tragic because it means this tree has grown and it has nothing more to nothing grow. More to I grow. mean it's grown and it's yes. finished with growing there's yeah. nothing you can do with that tree either to cut it which the nature will do or anyway, to or to live with or it, or to leave it like this to mm -hmm. continue the way it is continuing. If it is bending or whatever, yes. you have to leave it like that. But now we are trying to help those trees that are still young, bendable. 
But now, uh, huh? uh, according to the old age, yeah. uh, what, what do you mean by old? Because nowadays, uh, <laughs> uh, at 35, <laughs> people call themselves youth. At 45, yeah. they are still youth. So, or at 35, I am old. <laughs> no, you never. Yes, uh-huh. yes. You so, know, uh, let me tell you, but yes. you don't laugh at me because I no, was no, no, reading no, no. somewhere. And, and we, we, are, we are just trying to have a. Yeah, because con- you talked about but old if it's, age. But if it's laughable, yeah. then. Uh, For me. Uh-huh. <laughs> you uh, know why? Yes. Because. I, I read somewhere some a young person was saying he's married to a he's 35 and he's married to a 49 year old 35 yeah? 49 and then okay. the others were saying my my friend huh? such an old woman you're marrying such an old woman i thought goodness 49 is 49 old, is old old, old. Uh-huh. Aisha, Aisha, yeah. Yeah. then what about the ones who are 80 they are over old they're older older they're, dying. they're older older older, they're older, squ- older. Old squared. Uh-huh. i felt old i uh-huh. felt attacked you felt you I felt, felt attacked. attacked okay because I don't feel that old. Okay. okay may, do I, feel, I, I, do, I may look old, uh, but okay. I don't feel old. I'm trying to guess your ears now. Don't, don't guess okay. it loud. No, no, no. no, no. Cam- uh, yeah, I'm trying to calculate. I'm trying to calculate. Just calculate myself. on yes. your own. Eh? On my you own. I give you permission. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but the thing is, the uh-huh. problem is also one of that, those points you're, you're saying. Mm-hmm. We feel young. Okay. We feel young. Uh-huh. Even, even um, it's also affecting us not calculating when. How uh-huh. time is flying. Yeah. Because you feel young, you can go out, mm-hmm. you can do things that young people are doing. So you're not pushed even to think about the future because you're still feeling young and fresh. Sure, sure. Uh, I think someone who is living a hard life and the body is the body is maybe not fit anymore. Mm-hmm. You will start thinking more about old age mm-hmm. than someone who is feeling fit yes. and is having fun about life. Can eat without problems. Mm-hmm. You don't have that problem of diabetes or this. Di- mm-hmm. uh, you don't have but, to eat salt anymore and uh-huh. sugar anymore and so on. <laughs> so you're feeling young. How, 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 how did you feel? You, you said you, fe- you felt attacked. Yeah. How? I felt attacked. How? How can someone say that this mm-hmm. person is so, so old? I mean, you're not even 50 and then you're told you're so, so old. Okay. It's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> it's like pushing us to a bank, a bench somewhere. There is a position. Where we don't want to sit there yet. All oh, right, all right. Yeah, we still want it. to walk I on the street it. with you guys, mm-hmm. the young ones. Eh? Mm-hmm. The young. But you know, the young, even they are feeling that they are old. Yeah, it, that's I the think issue it's, now. It, it, it depends that's on the, the on the on the position, not mm. on the position on the. Uh, yeah, let me just <laughs> say it on a position where you are standing. That means on the on the on the age group that yeah. you are. Yes. Oh, okay. For those Charity. who call them twenties, they say uh, I'm old. For I'm those who are old. sixteen, yeah. <laughs> so. Charity, you are saying hello today. I'm on time. Hooray! Yes, you're welcome. You're so 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 welcome. I'm oh, happy yes. that you're here. Vera, some point. Uh, you're saying interesting topic. Yes, and it's gonna be interesting. Mm-hmm. And Vera, you're saying many people are homeless for many reasons. Yes. Sure, we sure. talked about it, huh? Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, <laughs> charity is laughing yeah, at me. Charity is, is trying to get charity, in. You felt don't attacked. Laugh. Mm-hmm. I think I think you understand mm-hmm. me or not? No, we, we, understa- we understand you. You understand? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because uh, but the way you got attacked is the, the, the it's something that's minimizing some... our chances now. Uh-huh. Because when you're told you're old, mm-hmm. old means y- y- your journey is almost over. <laughs> <laughs> And with 40 a, something, a, I don't think the journey is yet over. I'm sure. just starting. You know, in the Schwaben Ländle, mm-hmm. that is uh, the a tribe, a, a German tribe, yeah. uh, who live on the southern side of Germany, mm-hmm. the Schwaben, they Schwaben. say life starts with 40. Yes. So now you are, they are saying we are starting life at 40. Mm-hmm. And others back home, they are saying we are already Old. finished. Mm-hmm. Uh, but mm-hmm. life is starting now. So I better agree with this one with, with 40 for, with for 40. life is beginning. I'm telling you. <laughs> It's somehow yeah. difficult, but yeah. um, as 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 uh, who said uh, something to do with the uh, homeless? Homeless, yeah. This is very very someone said this. Yes, most yeah. of, most of the people they may be not even in poverty yeah. to be homeless. Yeah. As I said before, I know friends, I know people are homeless yeah. who go to the streets. They yeah. want to live that life. Yeah. Yes, but uh, coming back to the old people who are the homeless, mm-hmm. um, <coughs> I don't know what can. Uh, what cons- uh, conspires to such kind of uh, situation uh-huh. whereby people um, at the old age that's where poverty kicks them out either they were not uh, as we grow we are always been told uh, when you work hard yeah uh, try to save for the future 
to say. Uh-huh. But yeah, okay. That's what we hear sometimes. Our parents tell us every day. You try, to, you try to save for the, for the future because you never know what the future holds. Because you never know. Yeah, which but, is a but don't but don't forget to enjoy your life. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, don't forget. That's so I, uh, most of the people in the old age, maybe there's something that went wrong. Mm-hmm. Either they had bad company. Mm-hmm. Either they did not save enough, mm-hmm. either they did not know what the future holds for them. Mm-hmm. So I don't know where the mistake goes. I can't say because I'm on that age where I, I'm not old. <laughs> well, I've not, I've not the issue attacked. is the mm-hmm. issue is you don't have to wait until you're old yes. to consider that topic. Okay. Because actually that topic is not for the old. Mm-mm. You're talking about it now mm-hmm. about old age poverty, yes. but it's not for the ones who are already old because mm-hmm. for them it's almost the the train is already gone, mm-hmm. the bus is already gone. Sure. They're old. Mm-hmm. So we don't know what they are going through right now. We don't know if they are rich, mm-hmm. if they are poor, if they can manage. You don't even have to be rich okay. if you can manage to pay your bills. Like if you're living in diaspora, you don't have your own pl- uh, a farm where it's you can build your hut mm-hmm. and live there and fetch your water from the river and you know have your own chicken here and there. Some of the f- uh, rented places here you cannot keep chicken yeah, or that's keep a goat that, that's this and you cannot keep a cow for mm-hmm. your milk that you need. Hey. So. You you are even more targeted by the poverty like this uh-huh. because for whatever you need, even to eat, you need you money. You need money. You will need money hey. for rent. You will need money for going to the hospital. You may you need, need money, money because the insurance may not be taking over everything. Uh-huh. And the problem is, uh-huh. at old age, <laughs> your body even is striking. I mean, the uh, joints are saying the joints are saying you are not going to work it out. No more work. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> even if you want to work, uh-huh. the joints are saying no. You, so you, because we, some we, of us are hustlers, you know, like as Africans, we are hustlers. Mm-hmm. We can do anything sure. just to make money and to make sure that life goes on. We're used. Mm-hmm. But then you're there, you want to work, mm-hmm. but the body is saying no. <laughs> hey. huh? I'm telling you. Yeah, Charity, I felt attacked. Mm-hmm. You're saying again, old and wealthy in heart, mind, soul is okay with assets, especially a few reliable friends and family. Hey. Reliable is the ma- the code word. There. Reliable friends reliable, and family. That's reliable. Very, because mm-hmm. Charity, it's true. Yes, you can have them as assets. Mm-hmm. But are they reliable friends and family? Are they friends who will meet you at your point of need sure sure are these friends who are going to stand with you Mm -hmm. when sometimes maybe you need to go and have this operation because your gastric or whatever has Mm restriked and because it has expired and (laughs) it needs to be renewed and then do you have those friends who stand with you or family Mm -hmm. maybe some of them will be struggling Mm -hmm. maybe some of them have money but they don't see the need of sharing it with you true so you are there and you're on all on your own Mm -hmm. what do you do huh when you have the assets, when you have the family and friends, mm-hmm. well and good. Actually, you're good to go. But it depends on how many, uh, from the friends and family, yeah. how many will stand. How many will, will stand, stand with, with you? With you? Mm-hmm. And if you're in diaspora, let me just, it's just the reality. Give it up. No one believes that you are poor. <laughs> no one believes that you are poor. No one believes. Poor mentality. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. No, no one believes. Or yeah. what do you think? Have you heard of anyone believing that you can be poor here? I believe that because uh, I believe that uh, we are not poor. Mm-hmm. Not even I believe. I believe people believe that people who are diaspora, they are not poor. They are not poor. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. This depends on when. Um, I don't know. Um, I can just give a real example. Now we came from home. We are mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. When we go back home, mm-hmm. these people forget that uh, the way they wake up early in the morning at eight to go to their works. That's the way we do here. Yeah. So I don't know if we, uh, when we are on our way to work, we mm-hmm. get paid. Uh-huh. and them not so they always forget that the salary that we always uh, wait for uh, end of the month yeah. is the same salary it might be d- it d- might different, be different a bit different mm-hmm. and and maybe them more even than us here yeah. but the struggle is real and the struggle is the same it's the same but i don't know how the mentality came that they always believe we are more <sighs> money we are I, hey this this word is good mm-hmm. we are more money than them <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my VIP here, the ambassador, uh-huh, the uh-huh. biggest of all bosses, uh-huh. is saying money. The more money, ah, how? I don't know how they believe that yours. we are more money than more them. Money. <laughs> and that one makes uh, us feel like. Uh, um, yeah. And then uh, when you now here in diaspora, you're thinking of something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, depression comes in somehow. Mm-hmm. And when things go away, mm-hmm. when things go away here in mm-hmm. diaspora and you are, uh, you know, everybody has luck. Yeah. We are not all equal here in diaspora. One is hustling in this way. The other one, they are not even working. Mm-hmm. Things are not working in the way. That's why I'm saying when things go away. Yeah. Uh, in future, mm-hmm. uh, we have that 
depression or we have that feeling that when i go home people will laugh at me oh, people yes. will uh, disgrace me oh, people yes. will talk about uh, he has been in diaspora for a long mm-hmm. time what has he done is now yeah, empty yeah, so that's yeah. why you find those old now let me yeah. come to back to the old age people the old. they don't go back home uh-huh. they're here in the streets of germany i can understand yes, yes. yeah because um charity is saying mm. uh, no actually vera is saying it is sad when one have to beg for one warm meal a day. Mm-hmm. This is poverty. That's poverty. This is poverty. Uh, in a in a in a not in a, in a century mm-hmm. like this one, mm-hmm. uh, we are not supposed to beg uh, no. for food. No, actually. Actually, but, and uh, then when you hear the supermarkets are throwing away food, yes. and many other organizations they have food but they throw it away. Yes, I and have then on the other hand, you hear the families who cannot afford cannot even afford one meal food, a day. Yeah. And uh, I know of organizations here in Germany, mm-hmm. after food uh, remains, <coughs> they always throw it away. It's an order. And that's painful. Yes. That's a, painful. You can't do nothing about it. That's painful. I see. Even, even their workers. Even, even work, their workers. You're not even eat. allowed to take anything. <laughs> and you cannot no, even eat there. About. That's huh? it. You cannot even but eat there. But it can go to the... Uh, it can be taken away. Yeah. But people are, are like she said. Uh, it is sad that this it kind is of sad. sad to it is sad, uh, and this is happening real in reality in diaspora. Mm-hmm. I mean, I have seen even sometimes people say in the group, mm-hmm. "Yeah, I saw this and this. Our sister here carrying her baggage mm-hmm. on at the burn off, and she's walking around. She's telling this and this story, and how can we help that person?" Mm-hmm. And then sometimes I'm like. I really feel, I mean, I, it's first of all, it hits me and I'm, I get scared. I think it could be me. Mm-hmm. It could be somebody else that I know. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to be a stranger somewhere. Mm-hmm. It can be me. So how did they come to that point? That's the question. To a point where they cannot even afford a home, a, a home, roof uh, over their heads. Mm-hmm. That's it. That they have to travel with their, all they have are these bags that they are traveling mm-hmm. with. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. On a daily basis. Mm-hmm. Moving from one burn off to the other. Mm-hmm. Or even moving from one bridge to the other. Mm-hmm. And you know, okay, we are, when we are here, we see white people. Also, it's not just the brown people. No, no, not no, no, a, no. just a diaspora people. But we have different, even the, the, the people, the natives here. Yes. Yeah, we have them. And for me, the, the worst is in winter. In winter. You know, in summer, you can sleep outside and this you don't feel anything as yeah. much. The only thing you have to watch is your, your clothes. That, the clothes and the few you. things that sure. no one steals them. But winter. Hey, yeah. mm-hmm. and you know how cold it is yes. to sleep outside and to afford no warm meal. There are times you are so cold, even cold when enough. you go to, you come from work, all you want is a giveri, a warm, a real hot giveri, <laughs> so that you feel fit again. I mean, mm-hmm. you can see me, I like eating giveri. Oh, and okay. Mokimo. Yeah, it I depends look, on where yeah. you come from. Huh? <laughs> are you is mulsik maybe, or ah. a muskiz is not warm. Uh, what do you guys eat? Uh, matoke. Uh, mat- uh, matoke. Yes, uh-huh. we like that. Yeah, so imagine no, you no, coming no. home, you want a warm matoke, mm-hmm. and then you feel, now I've arrived. And mm-hmm. then imagine that brother or sister of ours doesn't have that Mm -hmm. now the issue is when i hear this Mm -hmm. i'm like how can we help people or how can this person how could what could that person have done Mm -hmm. to avoid to land in that situation and for that i'm going now to answer the questions Mm -hmm. yeah no because i mean we have an expert who is going to talk about it later okay yeah at uh, in a few minutes in Mm -hmm. a few minutes we're going to have an expert talk about it and ruth marty like you're saying Mm -hmm. the sad truth is that we have so many here one told me that worst is that they can't even go home because of the stigma that awaits so they choose to stay exactly, exactly what, you say. what i say ruth you're so right yes. there are so many who stay here because, because they, they cannot they go cannot. back home and i can ima- i can understand hey. Hey. i can understand it's hey. so painful it's it's although sometimes we say yeah, just don't bother what they're saying mm-hmm. I think still it would be still nice to live be, in Africa yes. because there the weather is warm. Mm-hmm. I mean, even if you don't have a, a permanent house, mm-hmm. you can build a hut or something like that yes. and you don't have to live on the streets. You can plant your own small, small things and mm-hmm. they will keep you well fed. You, you at least, and you have neighbors, you have people who are not, um, at least you feel safe mm-hmm. because here you have so many things in diaspora there are so many things that could affect you not sure, just sure. you being homeless but maybe you have even you cannot even afford an insurance this That's is a big it. thing a big that means thing. when you want to get treated and you know when you're sleeping outside you're not eating well 
you will most probably be attacked by sicknesses mm-hmm. more easily that means mm-hmm. you need actually you need the insurance the health insurance more than anybody else yes because your situation is so dire that y- you are really not safe that's so, it that's so it. Uh, as you, as you're saying ruth i and i understand the stigma issue mm-hmm. is also very serious because we, that, we are not that busy. one is very serious it's and it's affecting serious. a lot of people actually here a who lot, are not eh? talking about it oh and um uh, they only what they only remain to telling people is i'm here long enough mm-hmm. uh, but you're here long enough but choose 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 your style mm-hmm. and uh, know that the people you who are, are awaiting you somewhere yeah they're not going to take it easy on you so ladies and gentlemen this is really really a tough topic and uh, charity what Raymond Gugila is saying actually a lot happens and the worst is usually due to relationships gone bad and a lack of information where to get help mm-hmm. and then the mental health issues kick in and then the loss of self esteem uh-huh. comes in hey. yeah that's very right this is so right because actually it's really a precarious situation mm-hmm. can you imagine having worked maybe for years mm-hmm. and then something in the family happens like divorces mm-hmm. like someone dies in the family yes. or i don't know i mean the husband or the wife dies and then you're standing there alone you don't know what to do and you realize you mm-hmm. don't have much uh, pension pension mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you are not getting much help from anywhere mm-hmm. then you start struggling and then you look ah maybe i can start working mm-hmm. and then the body says no <laughs> actually the body says no, no you can't you do that you cannot work as much mm-hmm. maybe sometimes you may get a mini job or something like that mm-hmm. and then it becomes a problem charity is saying again plus one circle of reliable friends not many could be even one or two whom you have each other's back loneliness in diaspora is <laughs> real is real huh? hey hey charity why are you saying so much truth here today goodness <laughs> Whoa, this is serious. Uh, huh? Loneliness uh, is so real. Mm-hmm. And then you don't have to be old. Eh? You don't yeah, have to be old. No, you don't have to be old. But she was right from the other way. She says, right. actually, mm-hmm. uh, a lot happens when the maybe a relationship goes, goes south, goes bad. wrong. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, uh, but why don't we learn? Why don't we learn mm-hmm. as, uh, as what should we learn uh, as the young generation out yeah, there? Yeah. Because it's not happening today. No, uh, I'm very sure it charity charity happening. in Google Arts has seen it a lot. Yeah. It deals a lot with relationship and all that. Yeah. Meaning, um, we see these things come each and every day. We do. We have spoken here uh, so many times. Yeah. And I guess it's time that the young generation learn. We should learn uh, from other peoples, from mm-hmm. those. Sometimes we learn from what's happening or from what has happened to a friend, to a whatever. Yeah. Uh, but where do we go wrong? So when we see such kind of situations are, yeah. are, are trying to affect a lot of people here in diaspora, yeah. then um, before this relationship goes wrong, because you never know, no matter how love uh, comes in between two people, mm-hmm. between a man and a woman, mm-hmm. You as a woman, what are you doing for yourself? Oh, you yes. as a man, oh, what yes. are you oh, doing yes. yourself oh, uh, yes. uh, for yourself? So yeah. that in case what are we are you not, we are, what are you preparing yourself, yourself for? Who are you yourself? Because yeah. we, we, we have seen so many people uh, 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 growing up being dependent yeah. to to dependent, uh, not even dependent, that. dependent talk about that. Uh, on someone. Okay. Yeah. And when it comes to a point at where a relationship now are going uh, AY, I mm-hmm. always use this word. AY. AY. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like then it, this, then, like uh-huh. mm-hmm. then it affects a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And when you say that uh, at that age now the, the bonds are not going to work w- along with you, mm-hmm. uh, that's where we see this old age poverty coming in. Oh, yes. So as young people, mm-hmm. maybe, uh, we should learn from uh, this kind of things that we see. Yeah. Something that is said once or twice or thrice, yeah. it is existing. It is so existing. So you as a young person, as a woman, you as a young person, as a man, what have you done for yourself? What are you doing for yourself at this particular moment? Mm-hmm. So that maybe we are not saying that the relationship, they always end sour. Mm-hmm. But if in future, who are you yeah. as yourself? Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. So if this yeah. man, maybe yeah. let's say something, God forbid, yeah. dies on the way, mm-hmm. well, how do you remain standing? Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Why do you have to depend on that woman? Why do you want to depend on that man? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because life can be taken anyhow, anywhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah oh. it's, it doesn't relationship breaking here doesn't anyhow. mean that uh, you are going now to divorce. Yeah. And what it means? What What if this man dies? What if this exactly. woman dies? And the family did not even like you. Yeah. How are you going to survive? How are you going? And <laughs> some of the times in our African settings, yes. they take everything. They back. take everything back. So and how you're standing are you? There. Uh-huh. Like you came into my son's that's life. It, that's so it. you came with nothing. You can go now. My <laughs> so you, son is you not see there. our old yeah, age people at 65, yeah, yeah. at 45, they yeah. are in court. Oh my now, God. You are in yeah. court. You are old enough. You are spending money in court. Yeah. You are doing that and that and that. And yeah. you don't have time for that. At, you don't ti- have at this time. particular time is the time you want to rest. You don't so have time. as young generations, mm-hmm. as people young than me mm-hmm. or like me, we should emulate what is actually happening. Not emulate Oshu. actually, but only look on what Oshu. is happening out there and then Oshu. try to, you know, come yeah. out uh, with a uh, with a positive but most of the young people generation are just uh, wasting their energy somehow yeah. uh, waiting for that yeah. that what's happening uh, yeah. in the future but uh, that's just a, a word out there oh the my goodness just my goodness to yeah? support uh, charity that's his uh, point, point and relationship yes. going yes. sour yes mm-hmm. and i think we should be doing something we should be doing something to change the situation okay. we should be doing something to change the situation i do not know how but we have to do something we have to change the situation we have to do something now before it's too late i mean for those people who are already old <laughs> we cannot do anything for them because we cannot re- reverse their life we cannot this is the sad thing, eh? Yes. When the train is gone, it's gone. It's gone. The train cannot reverse uh-huh. them. Uh-huh. It will never, unless it will uh, never, the, eh? unless the driver has to uh, by uh, force. Uh, <laughs> 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 it doesn't work as always. The issue is, eh? Yeah, we have an expert today. I invited someone. We're going to talk with her and hear what it all means and how do we come into such a situation? What are the causes? What is the reason why many of us? many i don't know mm-hmm. some of us we don't talk about it sure some of us are suffering battling poverty right now old age poverty some mm-hmm. of them are not even old enough no some but they're already fighting but they're already fighting but i think when you are old uh, old mm-hmm. and poor it is more tragic mm-hmm. because you cannot reverse it Sure. So we are going to have a visitor, mm-hmm. a very special, uh, well-informed lady. Mm-hmm. She's going to be talking with us on this topic. Mm-hmm. And um, she's actually one of the reasons why I was inspired. Why you were inspired? To talk about this topic. Oh, right. Because she's raised it several times and mm-hmm. I know she's head on. She's head on. Such things. She's like, you have to do it. You have to do this. Okay. So, and I'm like, yeah, actually, you should talk about this because people are not taking it serious. All right. I think we have her online. We have her. I guess Wonderful. I she hope can hear she's us. going to hear us and talk with us. Uh, hello? We have her. We just went off. No, she just went off. Okay. okay. Try we again. Shall, uh-huh. We keep trying. We keep yes. trying. Maybe uh-huh. we'll have to go on Messenger or WhatsApp. Retirement Maybe. is 67. She's saying, uh-huh. Vera is saying online, retirement is 67. This is hard when one has to go working again to make life moving. With 67, <laughs> others are resting, starting to do wild tours, and you're starting to look where you can add the few coins so mm-hmm. that you can be able to pay your rent, to be able to pay your bills, and to be able to survive. That's 67, 67 is late. 67 is late hey, yeah, a yeah. lot. A That's lot. when some of the people are discovering now it's time to have fun. Hey. And you are starting to, to think. Hey, and ma- many of us, we know many of us are not far from that that age and maybe we don't know even what to hold on to. Mm-hmm. If you are not yet there, please start rethinking. Mm-hmm. I have actually where I work, there's also a, a retired lady mm-hmm. working. Working okay. because she also divorced uh-huh. and she left the marriage with nothing. She left the marriage nothing. with nothing. And now, now you see where at her retirement going. age, mm-hmm. she has to work, mm-hmm. carry big pots with me mm-hmm. <laughs> hey. for a few coins. Mm-hmm. Eh? It's not easy. All mm-hmm. right. Let's hope we get our, our, our visitor, our guest. Vera, so that Vera. We, yeah, Vera, so that we can hear what she has to say about this, mm-hmm. because uh, we need an expert to talk with us about this. We Let's need. Eh? Yes. We need. We need. I think we have her. Oh, that's good. That's great. Vera, that's can good. you hear us? Yes, we can hear you. Oh, great. Uh, great, great, no, great. Welcome, welcome to the show, my dear. I see you've been talking with us on the sidelines. I hope you're doing fine. 
Much better, thank you. Much better. How are you? Ah, fine. <laughs> nice that you're joining us and nice that you're going to tell us, open our eyes because actually, like I said before, you are the insp inspiration for me to do this show about this <laughs> topic. Tell us about old age poverty. What are your experiences? Thank you very much, Agnes, and thank you for the colleague also we are talking with. Okay. I am a social worker and um, we have a counseling center where we have to counsel different kinds of people every day. Mm -hmm. And uh, by day you can have many people get into the office, sign for papers for the, for the job center. And then we have a few that um, sign for retirement pension. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have to fill these papers for those people. And when I began fitting these papers, that's when it, it dawned on me mm -hmm. that, oh, people are really living extremely um, poor financially. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about a story of two stories. Mm -hmm. One is a story of um, the migrant, but not an African diaspora. Mm -hmm. And she has been living here for many years. Mm -hmm. and she was like um, uh, in a hospital and also in the pharmacies. And something happened with this woman. Mm -hmm. She got sick. Mm -hmm. Sick in the sense that she, she was uh, messy. So because she became messy, mm -hmm. she had problems with the landlord. Mm -hmm. They kicked her out of the home. Oh. As we talk, this woman is eight years of age. Mm -hmm. She Whoa. is living with uh, the, the up that close, like you say, people without homes. The good thing, at least in Germany, there's a small place they put the people there. Sure. And so she wants to go every day to beg for one warm food. Mm. And if she misses one warm food a day, she will come to my office and will really mourn and I have to give her food. Oh, yeah. This story took me a lot. This wasn't a black woman. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's woman of course, social health, what we call social health. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, even at that point, she still can't even do anything because alone where she stay, which is in, even of that close or people, uh, homeless people's home, mm -hmm. she it, it is the government that is paying that. Her clothes are so tattered. And her case is so worse because not only she's financially lucky, mm -hmm. emotionally is down. She also is lonely because she doesn't have brothers, sisters, and all of this. Mm -hmm. So her case is almost terrible. My, my. Um, another story I wanted to share with. Mm -hmm. This is the reason is why I began talking a lot about this old age poverty. Mm -hmm. A 62 year old lady came to my office to sign for her retirement, anticipated retirement. Okay. And because in January it's 60, 67, eh? 67. Mm -hmm. so when she's signing this and filling the forms, mm -hmm. I noticed she has, she has really not worked all her life. You know, she she will, when the children was were there, she stayed at home until they all became twenty. And of course, fortunately for her, the husband divorced her. Mm -hmm. When the husband divorced her, um, she had to start life all over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Meaning, she had never paid anything into the renter castle, mm -hmm. uh, into the repair. I mean, budget, so to say. Mm -hmm. And when I was feeling, I almost wept for her because it was just nothing. Mm -hmm. And so we managed with the little jobs that she was doing time and again. And of course, with the support, you could get about 700 euros. Mm -hmm. Now, when she gets 700 euros, Mm -hmm. How does she pay her rent? That mm -hmm. is about 850 euros. Mm -hmm. Which means that she has to leave her own apartment 
and look for another apartment, maybe just one room, mm -hmm. so that she can be able to afford that. And of course, that's what the government told her. That's what uh, she was uh, advised to do. Mm -hmm. So we went to apply for the social help mm -hmm. because at least there's a minimum amount you're supposed to live with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, she was asked to leave that home so that we can get another apartment, one room, where she can be able to pay. Mm -hmm. Now, even if she left her to Spain, how will she eat? Let's assume that she's going to pay her rent for 400 euros. Sure. What about the, the neighboring cost then? Mm -hmm. How much will it be? Mm -hmm. And of course, what will she, how will she eat the food? So again, she will still depend on uh, the social organizations like characters like some porn whatever mm -hmm. to go get one meal a day this is and this is an african mother mm. and who has children in germany mm. and unfortunately mm. the mindset that most of the hard to think that our children could be on security it's totally change mm -hmm. it's no longer the case yeah on the contrary we want to help help them to where we see that they are doing well mm -hmm. mm. so we keep living in this financial poverty mm -hmm. and I know some people will be listening and think that, well, the social support is there, so I will live on it all my life. Sure. That's true. But how? The conditions of it even is more Once. difficult. Yeah, sure. When you live on the social support, when you are, when you are young, you're indirectly saying that that's what you will live with when mm. you're old. Mm. And it means that it will be poverty on the old age. Now, let's say you are having 1,000 euros now from the social support, mm -hmm. what we call the job center money, the I had uh, here and all that, or the social health. Mm. Sure. You live with 1,000 euros and you are contented with it. Unfortunately for you, you are not being paid requirements mm -hmm. because you are not working. Yeah. Therefore, now that you are living with 1,000 now, and for most young girls and young people, uh, where they keep their husbands or their partners somewhere else, they may go to get some money, some peanuts from their partners, mm -hmm. and then patch up life together. Mm. Now, at the age of 67, you can't be patching up life again. Mm -hmm. like that. You can't. <laughs> That's impossible. <sighs> you can't be patching up, which means that if you're patching up now, and trying to get from here and get from there and then you're feeling comfortable mm. and feeling contented with the say 1000 euros now and you're paying from the 1000 euros 700 euros for your apartment because you have three children and so you need to need to at least two bedrooms apartment mm. how do you live so therefore you're going to patch from your partner here you will tell your partner to get out of the home so that you can be able to patch up and this is what happens at the end mm -hmm. at the end mm -hmm. with, with the one thousand you get now you will not be able to live with it when you are 67. Mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. at 67 you want to experience life differently. Mm -hmm. You that's where the right if you had planned well, it is at 67 that you drive portion. It's not at 30 now. Mm -hmm. At 30 you work for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that at 40 you work for that? Yeah. At 50 you're still working for that. Mm -hmm. When you block 67, you no longer want to do that working. If you want to drive the Porsche, it's at that time. If you want to live in the village to be at that time. Yeah. It should not be the, the other way around. Mm -hmm. So these two stories that I said are real stories and not just two. These are just the two examples that struck my mind. Yeah. But we have it on a daily basis. They come to the office. And I'm wondering, how do we help these people understand that poverty is real? Ooh. Another example for us to just to make us uh, maybe awaken the minds of the people. I observed something. You know, let's take the case of Cameroon. Mm -hmm. I always take the case of Cameroon because I come from Cameroon. Mm -hmm. right. If you live in Cameroon in the Carabao towns, 
Carabot house means that just like a ghetto. I hear your colleague was talking about a ghetto. Mm-hmm. And then you come to Germany and you live in a in those areas where there are ghettos. Mm-hmm. You may think that you're better in Germany than in Cameroon. It's not true. Mm-hmm. You have just uprooted <laughs> yourself to another better ghetto. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you're so right. I Say it that. louder. <laughs> you're good. Okay. Uh-huh. I love that. Wow. That's a problem. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so we don't realize quick that we're also still in a ghetto mm-hmm. because we have two chicken mm-hmm. to eat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so we forget quickly that yeah. actually the ghettos have just transformed the places. Mm-hmm. When the other ghetto was a little really ghetto with mud and all that. Mm-hmm. And now you have another ghetto, mm-hmm. but which is maybe without mud. Yeah. So you forget quickly and you think, oh, now I'm better. Yeah. No, no, no. It's the same ghetto. Yeah. Only the style has changed. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Oh wow, that that's that's really something. That. Yeah, this mm-hmm. is this is a, a big, big, big point. We need to say it even louder. Yeah. I don't know how, mm-hmm. but, but this is this is a hard reality, Vera. This is a hard reality, yes. and I know from the job you're doing, you face this a lot on a daily basis. Yes. So, you know, my, my husband told me, mm. I pray God that you keep having the grace to do the work you're doing <laughs> because how you manage to talk with these people all the time and how you manage to see how you still do the job with that passion, we don't understand. When I see young people come to the office and I, I you look at the two of them, you stay, wait a minute, and they're in German for eight years mm-hmm. and, and they complain they are not having language. They are not having house uh, training, nothing. And then they are complaining, oh, the government wants to send me back. And then I ask them, let us be real now. Mm-hmm. If I was in your country, if I was, uh, I came to visit you in your own village. Mm-hmm. And the government, your, your chief took care of me and forgot you. How would you feel? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the first thing. Secondly, now that you are here, what did someone invite you? This is your chance to, to learn the language as much as you can. Mm-hmm. This yeah. is your chance to do the training as much as you can. Yeah. So that at the time you're clocking 40, even if at number eight years, mm-hmm. they said they want to send you, they won't send you back because you're far class. Mm-hmm. And because they are all people far class, you will have the opportunity to stay and you can build better. Mm-hmm. There are many ways we can prevent this old age poverty. And mm-hmm. this is my story. This is what I tell people all the time. Mm-hmm. We should be awakened. We should be aware of the fact that um, we can transport our ghetto lives into Germany unconsciously. Sure. Sure. Mm-hmm. And that each time we eat a full chicken, it doesn't make us better than the people in, in the ghettos where we think they were before. So therefore, instead of eating that chicken and the feeling satisfied, mm-hmm. we should start really thinking, what can we do? If it's better to eat less of this, their chicken, because it's so poison. Mm-hmm. After eating their chicken for some time, you just explode like if you were another chicken that they had put you also <laughs> in a chicken, in a pot or so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! So we should I'd rather stop eating even this chicken and really start thinking: what can one do concretely, uh, precisely, exactly. so that one can avoid some of these things in the old age? Yeah. At this age, you know, at thirty, at forty, if we are, if we are working somewhere, we should be able to save enough to do businesses, mm-hmm. so that at the age of whatever, sixty-seven. Mm-hmm. Even if the pension comes in, we still have income coming in from the investment we have invested. Mm-hmm. 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 Because it's not only about the oh, the pension. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, uh, many people don't work forty years directly straight. Yeah. No, no, no. And if you get, if you work five years, you stop two years. You work three years, you stopped. Mm-hmm. Your pension cannot be like you are imagining it to be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, because they will calculate everything. Yeah. The times you stop working, you have nothing. Yeah. No. So if somebody is earning three thousand, and then you are expected to think you have one five, it's impossible mm-hmm. because if you did not work three thousand 
every month for all these years, you will not get that amount of money. So yeah. it should be a lie to think that if, if you're earning 3000 now, you can be able to have one five at the end. You mm-hmm. make sure you earn the 3000 continuously. Or like yeah. Years straight. Yeah. Can, can, yeah you ex- can you explain that point again, Vera? Because I think many of us don't understand. Many of us, we think when you can do something here, something there, once in a while, it's enough. It's not enough. Please, can no, you explain no, to no. them a bit that it's the continuity is so important. Sure. The continuity is oh, so important. Yes. Hmm. In fact, it is better you earn 1000 every year to like if you're 30 years you're working mm-hmm. so that at least you know you can have half of it the 500. Mm-hmm. Now, if you don't, mm-hmm. if you don't work, if you work 1000 today and next year you work 500, the next other year you don't work, mm-hmm. there will be nothing to do when they calculate according to how you have worked. Mm-hmm. So that's why if you are taking social support system, please don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. If you are sick, go for your support. It is there for it. That's why we work so that those who are sick can have the support. If you are handicapped, please, if you really can't do anything, it's okay to get that support. That's why some of us work about 16 hours a day, 18 hours a day. Sure. No problem. If you are a mother, you just take that. Please stay home, take care of the child. It's not a big deal. But you should put it in mind, knowing that after you've taken care, your child is one year, let your child visit the daycare so that you can also work. I say this precisely for those who are married because most of the time we think that that's fine that I'm, I'm at home and I'm taking care of the family until the children of 18 years. Nobody's even thinking to do anything. Mm-hmm. And if we're asking, you say, go do a work, you're punishing the lady. No, you're not punishing her. Now, let's pray that the man doesn't divorce you before mm-hmm. your old age. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's it. <laughs> That's a big point, oh, actually. Yeah. Or again, you pray that the man dies before you. He mm-hmm. was earning a lot. Mm-hmm. So that you can have it and the rent. Mm-hmm. Because at least if he was earning three, four thousand every month for about 40 years and he dies before you i know mm-hmm. okay you have bit their rent mm-hmm. their rent is with windows rent uh windows pension yeah mm-hmm. that is okay you can live with that by the way you are contented mm. but if it leaves you before then wahala day. <laughs> uh, wahala, wahala. yeah <laughs> oh my god so, it's so true and so, make people uh, fall into that trap it's so unfortunate yeah, but be, because women. because what do you uh, Vera? Do you think it's because of our culture we come and we already know as a mother you have to stay home take care of the children or it's suggested to you you're a bad mother if you stop taking care of the children mm-hmm. and you go work before they are three years or before they go to kindergarten. Some people will expect even that you stay home even after the children go to kindergarten. I mean, so those are things that we don't sometimes know. So it's good to explain to the people. It's nothing wrong about it. That's why we have the uh, organized, I mean, institutions where you can put your children in. I think that um, the norms have played, uh, the society have played a great role too on that. Mm. But I think that many people also are comfortable, mm-hmm. many women. Mm-hmm. I think, I, I know that, yes, the, the, the society have imposed some certain norms that the woman should be at home, take care of the children and all that. It's not a bad thing, actually. But do you take care, do you be at home until your children are 24? Mm-mm. I mean, is there something is wrong to somewhere with your own thinking? <laughs> I mean, if you can have your children at the age of 10 so that they can be able to boil water and even boil rice for themselves, I mean, what kind, what is that? We should be able to, that's what the, the, the law even makes us to understand. Train your children to be independent. Mm-hmm. So, it, an independent at the age of eight, ten, you should be able to take up your, your bread and bake it yourself in the oven. You mm-hmm. should be able to have a structured way so that you know that you can also pack your food. Mm-hmm. It is not a bad thing if you want to pack that food for that child up to the age of 16. 
But when you're packing up to the age of 16 and enjoying to be at home, pray that the man should not leave you before then. <laughs> or pray that, least, that you can still, you can, I don't know how to put it, but. Hey, you're being very kind. <laughs> You're, Sorry, on, you're in the right track. You're in the right track, yeah. actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me ask Vera something here because uh, uh, how many? Let me. How many Africans? Let me now come to our African brothers and sisters. How many Africans do you see through your office? Let's say in a month, approximately. And what group age are we talking about here? Uh, we we have uh, we have more than 300 people come to our office. I mean, we have the mentee program that takes already 300 people. We counsel, mm-hmm. and most of them are Africans. But we okay. also have other parts of the, the migrant groups, like the Turkish people, the Syrians mm-hmm. that come for our services. We also have the Romans that come for our services. So it's a service for all migrants. So okay. it's open for all migrants. And we have people from different ages. We have the people, the children, we have recognized body for children and youth. So our activities are really centered on youth and families. Mm-hmm. Nonetheless, we also have programs for elderly people, senior people, or well, the nice that once a month, something for them so they can eat and they can talk and recall their good old days. Mm-hmm. So the activities are for. Uh, it's a, for the families and for everybody, especially with migration heritage. Mm. Mm. And and why do you think most of the youths actually um, are depending on this job center money? Maybe you may have uh, one or two reasons as to why this. Uh, so uh, I'm I'm asking why do you think uh, most of the youths out here they don't want to work but they don't they want to depend on the social. Um, uh, job center. Let me just say job, sub, job center money. Why do you think <laughs> most of the the <laughs> youths don't want to go to work? Funny, funny question. If your mother lived on job center, then you learn from her to live on job center. Uh-huh. If your father lived on job center, then you learn from him to live on job center. Right. I mean, it's a uh, generational transfer of poverty and <laughs> poverty. <laughs> I love that generation transfer. <laughs> generation transfer. Really? I mean, yeah. I heard that and I thought it's just people putting others in the box. So you mm-hmm. have experienced that also that are families that are social, uh, social hip and finger. I mean, people who get this help. Who started from, yeah, who started where the, that is also the children tend to go to that direction. Ha! <sighs> What is what is a that simple logic now? <laughs> if I if I have a mother that is always at home or a father always at home and they are always signing all the papers. In fact, most of the the the, 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 the children are the one helping their mothers in signing. But let me tell you a story. I have an employee or uh, one of my employees is working seriously to help people get. Hello. So Hello. Come, come back again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we hear you. Hello. Yeah, yeah come we hear you. Okay. So I was telling the story of what of uh, one of my employees those days. Yes. She has been signing these papers, and each time she signs a paper, it's about one thousand four hundred euros for someone doing nothing. You know, one day she looked at me and said, Bevera, this is unfair. How can I be working and I don't earn? I earn only 100, 200 euros plus. And she is only one for and she's staying at home. Yeah. Yeah. Then I looked at her and said, oh my goodness. Well, you can choose to be at home and get right. that same money. But the fact is that at your old age, you will have to depend on that money still. And you have to give up many of your rights. Mm-hmm. You can't travel without informing this people. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. You can't buy an apartment in Germany if you are living on uh, a hard fear. Mm-hmm. How do you prove that you, you can buy an apartment? It is a total prison in which people are being in. And people are not conscious. Now, if we're talking about investment for the future and so on, mm-hmm. we want to talk about investment in homes. We want to talk about investment in many other things. And having your own property at the end so that you don't even have to pay rent, it's already a good thing. And to that, if you even have another property that gives you rent, then you have another blessing. So we have to start getting out of the mentality and wanting to get 
and thinking that we are doing ourselves good. And most of us, we think we want to only invest in Africa, and they're not here. How do you bring that money back from Africa with the way things are becoming tough with mm -hmm. the banking system? Sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah that is really mm -hmm. serious i this is uh, it's good to hear from it's you that really is a sure. generation thing mm -hmm. is like inheriting People your children inheriting. the mm -hmm. social health and thing yeah. <laughs> this is like you telling that, your child that, that this is the is way new. to go and uh, someone said mm -hmm. children learn from watching yes. how you live mm -hmm. they will not listen to your words but more watch how you live so if they see you're comfortable living on job center then they will and do the same they will think this is the best way to yes. go so they will do the same who doesn't want to sit at home that is crazy Crazy. that is crazy and uh, vera i know you are a very very active person you work like crazy uh, an inspiration for me i've always looked up to you and keep up what you're doing helping other people but also investing so that your old age will be good mm -hmm. vera by the way is working very hard All right. and she is uh, you can tell us a bit of your in um um this or uh, farai and this this organization which you work with and what you've just said that you have people of migrant migrant history mm -hmm. who come to you for help but what else do you do and how can someone get to you before even we sure. continue because yes. we want to hear from you the tips of how to avoid this old age poverty mm -hmm. yeah, i want to learn something today so tell us more uh, first of all about mm -hmm. you <laughs> I think I, I think I am not the most important here, but there may be the tips. Yeah. Um, each time I start up a project, mm -hmm. that project has to do with helping people in one way or the other. Mm -hmm. I remember when I came to Germany and my husband and myself, each time we were looking for an apartment. Mm -hmm. We were praying, we were fasting and praying to have an apartment. I mean, literally fasting and praying. Mm -hmm. Even though my husband was working, even though I was working, mm -hmm. we were fasting and praying because we knew the skin of our color, because of racism, we may not even have an apartment. Mm -hmm. sure. So we decided, apart of the, our social activities, social support we give to people yeah uh, we decided that we're going to help Africans in a different way mm -hmm. that we're going to buy homes mm -hmm. and then rent to them and that has been a very good experience now because then you know you're helping people but you're also preparing for your retirement mm -hmm. it's an amazing way to do it at the same time mm -hmm. prepare for retirement Mm -hmm. But for you to do that, it should be an income. That your income, your 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 income should be so clear that you can take care of those things. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, and, and there are many other ways. There are many ways you can invest. You know, when I tell people about social work, people only see charity, like you're going to do donations and all that. Mm -hmm. We are want to talk about business of helping people and making their lives better so that they become mm -hmm. instruments of change then they also help you change others and change themselves mm -hmm. we have many people out there in the support system that have forgot they are falling they are living in depression they are living in abject poverty of self um self i don't know how how to put it on themselves they don't have no trust in themselves mm -hmm. these are the people you should help okay wow. wow get money from them from these people you yeah. have to work with a good concept a business concept mm -hmm. and go to the center and work in collaboration with just them because the last money game when there is only people are lack of information so mm -hmm. they don't even know what to do sure. i think many people they want to do things but they do not know how to how do to it do mm -hmm. and yet they are unable to ask the right people teach me how to do these things because mm -hmm. they feel that you know you know the thing about germany is that coco yams cassava <laughs> and and, and uh, plantain mm -hmm. they just feel like they are the same they just put them in the pot yeah. and cook it yeah. let that coco yam well cooked it and then you will know that cocoyams is different from plantains and different from cattle yeah <laughs> very true yeah so, okay. we want to encourage people to do 
do business and business doesn't have to be only buying and selling mm -hmm. eh? you mm -hmm. do not only have to go and buy i mean it's a good thing if you're buying um bonbons and selling it's not but if that's your gift mm -hmm. but some people their gift is to help people transform from going out from poverty to become wealthy people or to become people who can understand financial literacy mm -hmm. make that your business Mm -hmm. And it will spare you a poverty in the long term. Make that a business. Organ arrange that and work with that. I work for my own organization and it, they pay me for the work I do, mm -hmm. which was not the ones they came before. Mm -hmm. So, so um, there's a lot of possibilities and people should only learn from those that are already doing it. If yeah. we do that, we're going to help or we're going to avoid real poverty at the old age. Mm -hmm, wow. Mm -hmm, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Charity Wairimu is saying that that pension calculation is true. Talking to most of my age mates, our pension will never be more than 200 euros. Yes. Goodness, if we are lucky. This are information lucky. should yes. be constantly drummed to our young people. I have to be honest, I've got a tuition, tuition uh, calculation also. Mm -hmm. I mean, an in-between thing from rent and uh, facility room. Okay. And I was shocked. How, I mean, how much you can around this range yeah. 200 Charity, i mean she might be like right. crazy no she's right she's Charity right. is right around and i'm 200. like uh -huh. even in kenya i cannot live on that you can't this how is, am i going to live is, yeah. yeah it's crazy yeah, it's i'm so just crazy. i'm just wondering the way um vera is explaining how many people oh. are surviving on this money yeah uh, I'm, I'm just worried for the young generations out yeah, there yeah we yeah. should be, as i said before we should be learning should and be i think learning. this information as vera said we we uh, most people don't lack uh the information information yeah they don't know what to do and what where to go oh. i find this very well yeah yeah i mean even me i i think i thought i was informed but i'm learning uh -huh. vera thank you for this information <laughs> now what cons i mean in investing there are other ways that you can invest apart from real estate that mm -hmm. is what you you know mentioned and then doing social work what other examples do you have where you've seen migrants like those from african diaspora doing and they're succeeding and it's gonna help them for the future because mm -hmm. some of the things we do here as businesses really it's a fight it's a fight even to survive it's a fight so what have you seen which has been really productive and you think when they're doing this it's gonna help them in the future there's a lot of business opportunities a lot mm -hmm. especially for the african person mm -hmm. because um the africans have not broken through many areas in this country mm -hmm. a lot of business opportunity awaits them uh, mm -hmm. i tell uh, and let me use this opportunity to tell most parents it's not that your child your child going to be a poor your child going to do university it's not a guarantee that that child will be able to move well mm -hmm. so for me that's not the point the people who have built germany are the middle class people who are business people who have started uh, businesses right so um if your child is um uh, not the type that will like to read a lot mm -hmm. please spare that child let that child discover just what she likes or she likes. If that child likes doing hair, touching hair, please Let her help do that child to start up, to do uh, just that which she likes, touching the hair. So let that child go and do hair business. Sure. Mm -hmm. Now when the child do an video on saloon and whatever, and play, uh, on that area, and he combines that with his African stuff, Mm -hmm. Hi, mm -hmm. that kindness, that friendliness, that um, that uh, joyfulness. With the techniques he has learned on managing and calculating, he will he will explore greatly. Sure. Then he would have built a business for himself, mm -hmm. for others, and for his generation in particular. And it will not cost much money. Mm -hmm. Now let's go to the case of Greston. Many African restaurants go bankrupt because they didn't go for training for that. Mm -hmm. So they did not know how to calculate. They mm -hmm. do like we do business in Cameroon. You just get the <laughs> one morning and then go and buy and then you sell and that or you don't tell the calculation. Now, if you know how to calculate very well, mm -hmm. with your friendly nature, 
with your kind nature. We are so friendly. We are lively. Sure. We are people that can you know, give life to other people. Mm -hmm. Addition to your power that you have learned to calculate you in the market of the, the food market, mm -hmm. you will explore because you do intercontinental dishes. Mm -hmm. People will come all over to from you because sure. of your kind nature. And mm -hmm. you will little publicity, people will come. So there's business everywhere. It's not supposed to be only the real estate business. Do business in what you like doing. Mm -hmm. Now, if you if you are somebody that likes teaching like me, then you have to write concept. We work with you can come to teach or work with maybe other institutions to teach. But mm -hmm. you have to make that professional. Mm -hmm. You have to make that meet the needs of these people here not your need it's not about you by the way mm -hmm. it's about the customers and if the customer is satisfied for go the money comes in mm -hmm. but if the customer is not satisfied forget all that business you're doing mm -hmm. <laughs> business 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 no we want the cash and the cash come through people therefore add value to people's life and without insulting them making them feel important making them feel they are worthy mm -hmm. being also for what you're doing now going back to social people call that social business it's more of education and training mm -hmm. now when i write the program if you are someone who likes um let's say you like teaching and uh, you you did not need to go to school for for the training and all that but you have a passion for that and you 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 do index you know you discover that uh, most migrants and let's say the uh, I don't want to use the name. Let's say Cameroonian migrants, or well, it's a wrong example because they're highly educated people. Sure. Another my let's say another my the migrants, whatever I don't know. Migrants, they are always at the job center, mm -hmm. and but they are finding ways to get out of it. Now, you have to understand how job centers function. The job center people are looking for you and your competence to help these people. But you also need to know what they need so mm -hmm. that you can be able to work with them. Actually, yeah. You don't just say, okay, I want to go and work with job center, with job center as partner and that's all. No. You will have to write a concept. You mm -hmm. have to follow certain procedures. Maybe they'll recommend those say that, okay, you should have a, um, a certificate of A, B, and C. Mm -hmm. What do us get the certificate? Because once you get that certificate, Certificate, you have access to working with them. And they mm -hmm. have a permanent contract that no one can fight you. Sure. That's mm -hmm. a funny thing. That's why I think we think Africans are not made in any of the fields. If we all go to sell African shops, I, I don't have a problem with that. If we all have to sell African food, then we are many in the same thing because we think that, okay, you just buy the food and food. Mm -hmm. But there are many other businesses that you don't have to sell directly a product, but a services. And I tell you, bro, there's a lot of funding in that area, a lot of business in that area. And people are so ignorant about it. Sure. Right. So a lot of business, if you're doing care, like for those who are really trained to do, to be nurses, how many nurses, nurses in Germany, black African nurses have their own nursing company, care company. I don't put it in nursing company, put it care company. So mm -hmm. they can work with insurances and start their own business working with their family business. You see, the family business. So they'll give it for generation to generation. Mm -hmm. If you have that kind of a big thing, tell me, even if your child is bad in school, you try you try and work in its character and character. The child likes that area. The child will come and work there without problems and the child will develop another area sure. and that's how the family business keeps growing mm -hmm. that's yeah, what that the Israelite people the Jewish people you never see a poor Jewish because the father started by building up a shoe mending place started mm -hmm. by having shoe mending so true. The, the daughter gets up and says oh 
I think that many customers of shoes, they may need insurance. Let me start off an insurance business. So the same name goes on, but other insurance, right? Another one gets up and say, oh, maybe I will need an accessoire for shoe. We need to buy. And that's why they keep building up on that. We need to start so that my children, they build upon what we have started. Mm-hmm. I love that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, wow. Amazing. That's a wealth of information. A lot of and it. And I hope we can learn. Uh, a lot we can hear first. We can hear mm-hmm. first. Eh? Mm-hmm. Hear and then we learn. And then we learn because most of the people don't hear. <laughs> people don't hear mm-hmm. and we don't like to be told. And we don't like to be told. We that's don't the like problem. to be told. Yeah, this is the issue is yes. like uh, i don't know if you have experienced this stubbornness that we have as africans mm-hmm. have you had that because some some of the information some of us already have we give willingly i, mm-hmm. I know vera gives if you want to see sure. she will tell you she will uh, and some people they feel the intimidated if you know more than you them. know more than them yeah, and you want to tell them what to do yes. so and in ha- that case if they came here early enough than you exactly <laughs> Yeah, exactly yeah, then yeah, it yeah. becomes a problem mm-hmm. Vera this is precious information you so much, what you're Vera. giving us thank you mm-hmm. so much now I mean yeah. Uh, yeah about the young young generation mm-hmm. what can we do to motivate them maybe to start looking not just on one direction but to look at also their abilities yes. how do you how, how does the organization or you personally what do you advise us I think that we have to start looking at the talent of these children sure. and support them in their talents. Mm-hmm. Again, let's go back to the story of a young boy who likes to to sing. Let's take a young boy who likes singing. Mm-hmm. Now, in, in time, I go back to Cameroon. In Cameroon, you may think, oh, when he becomes a musician, there's no business, there's no wealth in that, right? Mm-hmm. Because you see, see singing as just one part. Now, if we see the entire process of singing, which has to do with production, which has to do with directing, and all these, they will no longer think low-minded, but we'll see a bigger picture of just of singing and music, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So, if they follow these children, they will have to teach the child how to produce his own music, how to be able to do distribution. Mm-hmm. Some of his music and so forth and so on. So once that child understands the, the logic behind business, creating business, he needs just one understanding one, and he will take the rest of his other businesses. Mm-hmm. I mean, we are, when you are when you say in Germany, say unternehmer, mm-hmm. it means that you have businesses, diverse businesses usually, sure. and you have diverse projects that comes up and those and the different businesses. No one has only one business, actually. Anyone that has only one business, I wonder how they will even make money. Mm-hmm. Because you don't make money out of just one source of income or one source of business, right? Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. Don't make money only one source. So we teach our children, those who come to our house of God, betrayal, or um, home like care, mm-hmm. we tell them from there. Uh, we talk with them. We just talk business with them. Sure, mm-hmm. sure. I talk business to even my daughter, like if I was looking for an abroad. Mm-hmm. She is turning 12, but she knows already that by 19, she wants to buy her first apartment mm-hmm. and put for rent. She knows already that when she's at a particular age, she wants to already start doing this and doing that. It's business literacy. Mm-hmm. Teach these children early as possible. Mm-hmm. That is not just in school. Now, mm-hmm. how do you teach a child when you yourself are not in it? We go back to the first question. <laughs> exactly. Ask, mm-hmm. If the mother and father leave and depend on job center, mm-hmm. and I have I have seen children, you ask them, what do you want to become tomorrow? They said job center. Because <laughs> their parents live <laughs> by job center, so they feel that that's what they will become also tomorrow. Yeah. Now, you have to consciously take this child out of that mindset, put that child somewhere in courses in trainings where the, the child will have fun mm-hmm. but at the same time also learn something sure. mm-hmm. please our young people want to have fun it's not a bad thing to have fun let's mm-hmm. not stop bullying them for having their fun mm-hmm. let them ha- have their fun their time is their age but in their fun pass them a message fun yes. with them as well and give them their message Mm-hmm. You can phone with the child and pass a message if you get through than being just this this the conservative 
straight what kind of father, mother, and then you can have you can't have any access to the child. Mm. Play with the child that wants to play. But child wants to speak their kind of language, speak that kind of language, mm -hmm. but pass the message that you want him to hear. Mm -hmm. So for our children, mm -hmm. we need consistency. One, get out of job same person he doesn't see exactly. you in job center. Mm -hmm. Two, take him to places where other people meet that are bigger than you and me. Mm -hmm. Take them to this bigger place so that they can see how things are happening. Mm -hmm. Connect them to other people that mm -hmm. are a bigger, better, speak differently than us. Yeah. Open those doors for them. Mm -hmm. You don't need to teach them. Just bringing them to those places, they will start thinking differently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they will start thinking differently. And that's how it starts, is by the developing that interest in financial literacy, in living a different lifestyle, mm -hmm. developing those interests, give something different and put something different in those children. Wow. So we don't want to teach, but we want to leave it so that they can see it. Thank mm -hmm. you. Wow. Wow. Wow, hey, thank you so much. It's amazing. It a point. It's just amazing. We are learning a lot. We have learned a lot and I'm I'm impressed because I mean there are things that maybe I could have I could not have touched on. We have so many people who have um, maybe lost lost direction and they think maybe it's already too late. Guys, it's not too late. You can still start off. If you're already 67, it's a bit difficult, but there is hope, I mm -hmm. think, for those who are still younger. Of course, of course. Yeah. Um, um, I, I do not know. Maybe we'll have to have another time. We'll have another time to talk about it. Yeah? And when Vera has time, yeah? we will Vera appreciate time, a lot huh? when she can even come yeah. here. People see her. Yeah. She talks to people. That's, those are the points that we need here in diaspora. Mm -hmm. And I'm very sure so many people who are listening have just heard what she said. Yeah. And uh, thank you so much, Vera, actually. Thank you so much. Um, we appreciate a lot. Thank you. Yes, and for yeah. your taking your time to tell us one, two, three, four. Yeah. Uh, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so yes. much and have a blessed time and thank you for taking your time. Really, those yeah. are very important and pregnant That's what points. We are pre eh? Yeah, sure. And uh, I was looking thank forward to this. Welcome. Yeah, thank you so thank much. You for the good job. Yeah, thank, thank you. God bless you. Okay. Thank you so a, much. Yeah, have a nice time. Bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. Hey, I'm telling huh? you. Have you had? Ah. Have you had? Hey, before hey. the kingdom comes, let me just huh? tell you what. Before you the asked. kingdom comes, uh -huh. Uh -huh, tell I've us. learned something. What today. have you learned? A lot. Huh? A lot from Vera. Tell Vera us. is actually. Uh, this is the naked truth that mm -hmm. always we want in diaspora. Hey, you know, if you don't. Uh -huh, that's why even in diaspora chronicles we always say it the way it is, it is because it, it is. has it has always been happening here. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, there are so many pregnant points that yeah. I've written uh -huh. here. I see and, you are uh, make, taking notes. <laughs> Ah, I tell you, this was cool. Eh? Uh -uh. <laughs> this, this was too. This was so good because really, I, I even was right. I was also writing notes as we learned. There are so many ways you can avoid old age poverty. You can invest in rental homes, as Vera said. You can work as soon as possible, as soon as the children can pour water out of their rice themselves. Eh? They can mm. make rice. Rice is 20 minutes. Yes. If the children can make rice for themselves, as mm. soon as that, you can go working. Ah. You don't stay at home. Eh? You can invest, invest in so many ways. You can do business. Mm -hmm. In business, she named many things. Mean what a lot, did you a learn? Lot, a lot. What there did is, you learn? There's so many things that so I... Many I, I, things, I, I yeah. Like now, the, the, how many... There's yeah, one I thing that you mentioned. More notes yes. Than mm -hmm. uh, about the social care mm -hmm. and, uh, and whatever here. Yeah. How many nurses do we have here? Who so, come, many, so many, actually. Who has come up and said, let me just start uh, uh, yeah, my own company, care company. Mm -hmm. very few mm -hmm. and as you see the mm -hmm. generation that this uh, uh, let's let me use the word Jews mm -hmm. that are giving out here is generation to generation transferring yeah. this to that, to that. Mm -hmm. yes what we are only transferring to our kids out here as Africans so is sure. job center job, job center, <laughs> job center, job center. <laughs> ah, so are we going somewhere are yeah. we going somewhere this is mm -hmm. sad. and as, as she said this was a very pregnant point mm -hmm. uh, when we come from our gate back at home mm -hmm. this is a transformed ghetto, ghetto. <laughs> yeah, an updated ghetto <laughs> updated that we come to but we scene. forget uh -huh. Uh -huh. we forget and then we live comfortable yeah. Yeah, and we live our we we have a comfort life mm -hmm. you see what i'm telling you mm -hmm. we forget that we really need to to to, to work 
this is something that young generations out there we and those we need to learn, mm-hmm. need to learn. Mm-hmm. and those we who have not learn. get older even if you say you are int- uh, intimidated uh, somewhere you are attacked somewhere mm-hmm. uh, uh, you are not attacked uh, mm-hmm. agnes mm-hmm. it's not yet too late i was not attacked Mm-mm. It's the reality. Yes. So uh, and uh, the, the, uh, the the last thing maybe I may say from yeah. uh, from Vera and there's okay. so many things actually people can watch this on YouTube later mm-hmm. on. Yeah, um, we have to share it actually. When mm-hmm. children now mm-hmm. I'm coming to the children when the children learn job center job center job center. Mm-hmm. That's why I always say if you have friends yeah. and you have been with these friends three years mm-hmm. you have not changed your life. Yeah. Change friends. Change, change friends locomote change even move. location yeah. uh-huh. locomote move you will see a lot of things yes. don't just be saying in one room yeah. you will be only thinking that room yeah. learning on that room yeah. and everything is in that room move uh-huh. that's why sometimes they say even here in stuttgart city now oh. deutsche bahn are, are giving a nine yeah. euro ticket in uh-huh. the next two two three months yeah take a train from here land even in Karlsruhe. Yeah. check how those guys are there yeah. don't just be looking in what are they and doing? checking hey you uh-huh. know what what i realized uh-huh. is that everybody thinks because we are all hustling yes. we are all the same happy, uh-huh. uh, uh, poor uh-huh. and living on average uh-huh. hey there's some africans who have made well, it uh-huh. so go out fun. there know what uh-huh. africans are go doing in tubingen in Bra- frankfurt Mannheim. now you're here mm-hmm. in stuttgart mm-hmm. you only know job center the only address i can <laughs> ask you and you give it to me very quick <laughs> is a job center address <laughs> myself i don't know where it is but i hope i will not I, be knowing where no, it is you don't need yeah. it but uh, it's slavery yeah. as vera said it's, it's slavery, slavery. We, because when you're on job center yeah. let me tell you ah. job center you have to tell them when you want to go to holiday that, they it. have to allow you because from what you're I in a committee holiday, maximum prison and you don't and this is the for a prison something they are mm-hmm. watching even your account ah. they are watching it you're How? not a, eh? if you want to watch for bushi where did you get this money from let's not much there my brothers and sisters out there let's move locomote Ah. let's listen mm. huh? charity thank you for being with us throughout thank you so uh, much and you say also say that you say thank you so much vera thank you so much bill and jerry you are watching from netherlands thank you so much and bill and jerry by the way mm-hmm. we're going to visit her All right. Netherlands, eh? Netherlands. Your, um, locomotive uh, we have now to locomote. Yeah, we have uh-huh. to locomote. This is the locomote I'm saying because we need to see what it is doing uh-huh. in Netherlands. I'm love we that. need to because we need to learn new ways of making I love money that. now. I love that. We don't want to be We might be appearing on your place no, no, soon. No, we want to see even this Vera we have to visit her in our place I'm and see you. what she's doing. You heard she said she's seeing about 300 migrants a every lot. i a that's lot. many that's, that's many yes. mm? and i hope whoever gets to see her mm-hmm. they get to learn something new and even today that we all will be motivated that's it to think deeper and reflect where yes. are we now ah. am i heading towards old age poverty yeah. or am i heading towards old age wealth that's Richness? it yeah whatever is right. we want to be living nice oh. you know the, the the germans most of them when they're 67 mm-hmm. and that's when they are starting now thinking which country can i go visit yeah. huh? and you uh, and you as an african at 67 <laughs> is the time now you are thinking <laughs> what other job what, can what i what do other job can i do uh-huh. ah no Shah. we are going to refuse that spirit of in jesus poverty. name in jesus name huh? yes i will ask Hallelujah. pastor ehad is coming ask up next him, to uh, pray for africans, uh, for africans a little bit that we resist that old age poverty not only africans but as vera said there so many people actively mm-hmm. we have to be active mm-hmm. it will not come on its own uh uh-uh. uh uh-uh. it doesn't huh? I saw it somewhere on Facebook someone was writing mm-hmm. there is no night that a company will sleep thinking how can I reach that jobless person uh, out there no, no there's <laughs> it's you like to look for them. look for them because they have the jobs mm-hmm. but we have to go look for the jobs hey. and those who are enjoying uh, government help uh-huh. please don't make it a permanent condition uh, they have made it because a permanent you're inheriting condition. it to your children, to your children. And that and a spirit of know. poverty ah. eh i mean ban- job center money is not even much no. i don't know why people can live there for so long you know hey. My friends, we are finishing, but uh, Kingdom Talk is uh, is coming soon. Be prepared. Look for your Bible wherever you have it mm-hmm. because you're going to be blessed later and get ready get your spiritual corner and ah. sit there and wait to be blessed. And let's pray for these yes. people who are transferring pray. job yeah. center to All the next this, generation. Yes, we have Christ. to cut that chain. Eh? Uh-uh. We have to cut that chain because that's not a blessing. Right. I don't think God wants us to inherit our children job Nobody. center. No, 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 no. Bala Gambia watching from uh, Italy. We are closing, thank so but much. thank you for joining us even if last minute. Go to we YouTube. said we do Go not want poverty. Uh-uh. We also pray for you that you don't get poverty. That is it. We resist poverty. We resist 
this we have today. refused it mm-hmm. now and in the future we refuse it eh? amen yeah guys have a nice and beautiful sunday vera thank you so much for taking your time i know it was not easy for you thank today you. but thank you so much for your time thank you for all the listeners those who have supported us and those who have been always with us and in the future we're going to have very important uh, topics again with important and special people mm-hmm. and i will let you know as time comes so have a blessed time thank you mr vip for being thank here thank you so much for you educating also, me today yeah we learned a lot eh? thank you. i see you made more notes than a lot me. Uh, uh, i hope you will use them eh? of course don't throw them in the dust we'll uh-uh. go learn eh? uh-huh. and teach your generations eh? Thank you. Uh, make sure that they don't know there is job center. You know what you do. I don't want to them they know the address. Exist. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. Have a nice day. This was Aggie's Live Talk Show on Radio RFM based in Stuttgart, Germany. Guys, you can reach us anytime. You know you can reach us anytime at Radio R1923 at Gmail. Uh, dot com or you can call us anytime or just get to in contact with us through our address in Stuttgart that is in uh, Stockach Straße 16A 7190 Stuttgart Germany mm-hmm. I think if you want to reach us reach us we have so many channels that you can reach us on on Instagram Facebook YouTube oh my goodness name TikTok them. name it uh-huh. look for us we are there for you thank you God bless you bye bye station with the best 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 music best music i love the music i love the music oh yes i got you baby i'm telling you number one the african station man for afro news afro beats and the world hits it's updates happening around african countries and interviews and experiences of Africans and their friends living in Europe and all over the world. Yeah, most of you are asking why can't we say this in Germany? Yeah, I'm telling you, Europa is no my eyes radio. If you're Afro music, Afro pop and worldwide hits. There's actually an agonist in African Shemendon. Interviews on the affirming from African and Alien Freundin. And the in Europa of the Guns of Belt Label. This is your number one radio station. The listeners agree. The message is clear.